Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Trophy Achievement Hackification for Watch Dogs. And uh, this is actually going to require you to invade and successfully hack 10 enemy fixers in online hacking mode. So, uh, obviously by now you've probably figured out that you have a smartphone that you can access pretty much at any given time by tapping up on the directional pad. And uh, Buyuka Shao, there it is. Uh, there is an app on there called Online Contracts. Go ahead and select it. It's the purplish looking one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cycle around and look for the hacking request. So go ahead and pick one of those. And then this is where it kind of takes a minute or two. So I did speed this up a little bit. Um, but uh, basically, there's a little tip I wanted to show you why I didn't edit all this out. Basically, in the corner up there, it's going to tell you uh, who you are getting to attempt to hack. And it's coming up here any second. And when it does, it's going to tell you what their hacking defense is. And in this case, this particular guy is strong. So the more online things that you do, the more notoriety points you get. And the more notoriety points you get, the more uh, available options you have to like detour, deter hackers. So we found a guy who's very weak because we're going we're gonna to go ahead and fix ourselves on the, the weak because that's how we roll. I'm just playing. Although it is really easy. This is a pretty tough accomplishment in general. I mean, it takes like two to four minutes for you to uh, find the guy and then stay hidden while you're hacking him. So we're going to go ahead and show you how this is done. It does take 10 of these in order to get the trophy achievement, as I already mentioned. But uh, we're just going to show you the last one. Uh, this is going to vary every single time. Sometimes you're going to load in and you're going to be on a motorcycle and the dude's going to be, or the chick's going to be all the way on the other side of the board and you're going to be able to fast travel. I was even able to fast travel to my target a couple times. Other times you're going to be on a corner where nobody is or out on an island somewhere. Every time is going to be different. So I'm going to give you some advice and hopefully you can use this and uh, maybe make your way to all 10 and get the hackification trophy achievement. So basically my first rule is I always want to find the guy, but I want to stay away. Now it is important to note that although you look like Aiden to you, you do not look like Aiden to him. You look like some sort of Jezebel or some whatever running around. So um, you are just an average citizen walking around. The more you run, the more likely you are to be seen. So once I get close, I slow down as especially if I'm in line of sight and uh, you got to get close enough to actually activate the hack which then allows you to initiate the back door now it's important to know that as soon as you start the back door it actually puts a blue circle on the map and, and it centers where you started so as soon as you start make sure you move from that point because that's most likely the first point that these people are gonna look is right in the center especially if they know that trick now there's almost always a dot or a triangle above the player's name unless he is out of line of sight for more than like 10 to 15 seconds. So I always try to keep the, the player in line of sight. Now, the best advice I can give you is to try and stay right behind him. Now, if you can, get above them. There's a few situations you'll find yourself able to get up on the railroad, uh, tracks up above for the, the, you know, whatever that is, the trains up there. Other times you're going to find yourself by water. Stay out of water because it'll immediately deactivate the hack and it will tip your opponent off because it'll say the opponent is in the water. And uh, another thing, if you go outside of that circle, it's going to also tell your opponent that uh, the hacker is outside the circle. So try as much as you can to stay inside that. However, um, sometimes that's going to change. Now, as you progress at 25, 50, and 75%, that blue circle actually gets smaller. So it makes it a lot easier for this guy to find you. My best advice is to stay right in the middle of everything, but try to stay right behind him. Now, I've kind of lost sight of him right now, but I believe he's behind the building. So I'm, I'm oh, there he is. He's right in front. So I finally see him. Now, look at how close I am, but yet how out of sight I am. Now, this is tough, and, and keep in mind, I'm preying on the weak here. You attempt this with the stronger guy who has calm jams and other things, uh, they're more likely to find you. Now, he is a noob and has no idea that he cannot bail out of the area. Um, basically, he's given me the hack right now. So you're going to find this sometimes, and you're also going to find guys who actually just decide to abort like you know those poor losers out there you'll get to 85 90 percent which happened to me a half a dozen or a dozen times and i was not able to complete the hack even though i was at 90 95 percent they left and i got points 
were going towards the hack, but it did not count towards an official hack going towards the hackification trophy achievement. Now, another thing I was showing you right there as I'm actually ringing off the achievement trophy here is uh, hiding in cars is also a good tactic. Boy, you can shout, hackification. So you can also get in cars and press the circle or what is it, B? Yeah, B button, and uh, you'll crouch in the car. You can be profiled while in the car, though, so be careful. Find a good parking spot or find a, an obsolete car that uh, he won't look at, or she, for that matter. All right, well, that's actually it. Hopefully you guys found this helpful, maybe a little bit entertaining as well. Uh, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is available as well. Um, this is one of those ones that's kind of like the long con. You got to do uh, some time in order to uh, get this one to ring off for you, but it makes it that much more worthwhile. And I believe it's uh, silver and 30G, I, I believe, um, are the ratings for that. So it's totally worth it. It's been a worth. Uh, yeah, this game's been a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it too. I'm going to wrap it up though, because I got more to do. Oh, yeah. As always, until next time. We only pray on the week. See ya!